Uh, good morning, dear students. How are you all? I guess you all are happy and safe at your places. As you know that since more than two months, we are locked down in our houses because of the pandemic COVID-19. But even I'm glad to tell you that under the guidance of Honorable Principal Dr. R.J. Barnabas, sir, Vice Principal Vinit Gaikwad, sir, Ahmadnagar College started uh, e-classroom. The concept is very simple. As you know that the, you all are connected with a WhatsApp group. Every day a link will be shared on it and you will be able to see or watch the videos which will be added or recorded by the our Nagar College staff. Today I am going to start with the mathematics paper one. As you know, the topic which I am going to start with is very simple, which is already connected with the class 11th. And you all are familiar. Already I have written some of the concept on board. Today we are going to start with the matrices. The definition of matrix is very simple, as you know. It's a rectangular arrangement of some numbers in rows and columns enclosed in a square bracket. Matrix is very useful. It is useful in almost all the branches of science. It is useful in statistics. It is useful in atomic physics. It is used in the subjects like operation research. Therefore, while studying the matrices, sometimes if we feel like, what for we are studying this? Is it useful in future? Yes, let me tell you, it is very useful in all the branches of mathematics. Okay, as I told you before, the definition of matrix is very simple. The arrangement of numbers in a square bracket is called as matrix. Okay, and how do we write the order of the matrix? The, it's very simple trick. The number of rows into number of columns gives us, tells us how many elements are there in a square bracket. Depending upon the structure, there are several types of the matrices. The very first type is uh, row matrix. The matrix having exactly one row is called as row matrix. The second type is column matrix. A matrix having exactly one column is called as column matrix. The third type is square matrix. That is the matrix in which the number of rows and number of columns are same. If two rows are there, then must be two columns. If three rows, three columns. If it is that, if it is, if it is so, then such matrices are called as square matrix. The next type is uh, null matrix or zero matrix. The definition is so simple, the matrix containing all the entries are zero. It's called as a null or zero matrix. And the next one is scalar matrix. Scalar matrix, before telling you the definition of scalar matrix, let me remind you one matrix, that is diagonal matrix. Because the definition of scalar matrix completely depend upon the definition of diagonal matrix. Now see uh, what the definition of diagonal matrix is. The diagonal matrix is the matrix which is square, the first one, and second condition is all the half diagonal elements should be zero. The elements which are not on a diagonal of a matrix, they, if they are all of them are zero, then such matrix is called as diagonal matrix. And now let us talk about the scalar matrix, a matrix in which if all of diagonal elements are zero and diagonal elements are same. If it is two, then everywhere two, 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 two should be there. If this is the case, then such matrix is called as scalar matrix. Let me tell you, other than these, there are many uh, types of the matrices which we have studied before. Among all, all of them, I would like to tell you about two main matrices which are very helpful while learning about while learning these topics. The first one is a singular matrix, whereas the second is non-singular matrix. These two are very important and very helpful for us to study the inverse of the matrix. I'll tell you and explain you each and every topic one by one. Now let us remember the definition of singular matrix. Now what is singular matrix? A matrix whose determinant is zero. If the determinant of the matrix is zero, then matrix is called as singular. And if the determinant is non-zero, then matrix is called as non-singular. 
make sure that we can find the determinant of square matrix only in case of square matrix only it is possible for us to find the determinant therefore as per the definition if the determinant is zero determinant of the square matrix is zero then it is singular matrix if it is non zero then we address it as a non singular matrix now later on means after this after the types of the matrices which we have already discussed in class 11th let us talk about the algebra of matrices in case of matrix we can perform some operations now what are those operations what kind of operations that we can perform on matrix all of them are very simple the very first is addition then subtraction then multiplication and scalar multiplication we can perform these four operation on matrices and all of them are very simple we have already solved so many example based on these four operations but let me tell you remember this we can perform these operations we can perform these operations under some condition it's not like we can take any two matrices and add them or subtract them or multiply them we need to check whether the operation is possible or not because operation of the matrices algebra of matrices is possible under some conditions now let us talk about the addition yes of course we can add two matrices but the condition is the order of both should be same i can add suppose i have two matrices a and b whose order is 2 cross 2 means order of both is same the question is can i add a and b the answer is yes because their order is same the addition is possible if order of both the matrices is same the same condition is for subtraction also we can subtract one matrix from another one if and only if their order is same agar dono ko order same hai if their order is same then only we can find the difference between them so first two operations are very simple we need to check their orders only if their order are same we can add or subtract any two uh, means we can add them or we can subtract them we can find the difference between them now let us talk about the matrix multiplication it's quite time consuming sometimes we find it difficult but i won't use the word difficult that is not uh, that difficult but you need to be very careful by performing this operation as i told you it is not that simple ki koi bhi do matrix uthe aur unka multiplication kare it's not that simple we need to check one condition do you remember that condition yes the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix should be same then only we can perform the matrix multiplication then only we can perform this operation now you must have heard i use the word first and second yeah that's true because in matrix multiplication the order is very important in case of number we know if i multiply 3 by 5 what will be the answer yes of course 15 and what if i multiply 5 by 3 in that case also the answer must be 15 only but in case of matrix just because of the condition the answer may or may not be same because the condition is very simple the number of columns of the first matrix and number of rows of the second matrix should be same magar अगर मेरे पास दो मैट्रिक्स है सपोज आई हैव टू मैट्रिक्स ए एंड बी सो इन विच द ऑर्डर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई ए बाय बी आई गेट अ डिफरेंट आंसर इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई बी बाय ए आई गेट अ डिफरेंट मैट्रिक्स ऑब्वियसली आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग वन मैट्रिक्स बाय अनदर वन आई एम गोइंग टू गेट अ मैट्रिक्स ओनली so if a and b are two matrices after multiplying them i am going to get a matrix only so sometimes a b and b a may or may not be equal in some cases we may get a b and b a same in some cases we will be able to find a b but not b a in some cases we will be able to find b a but not a b it is just because the condition uh, what it is the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix should be same then only we can perform this operation and the last operation is scalar multiplication 
and the, this operation is very simple there is no restriction we can multiply a matrix any row of matrix by any scalar as per our requirement as per our uh, necessity as per the requirement as per our convenience uh, we can multiply any matrix by any scalar any non zero scalar so these are the four operations that we can perform on matrices first we discuss about the definition of matrix we discuss about the types of matrix and now we discussed about the algebra of matrices that means we can perform the four different operations on matrices now <coughs> i would like to tell you about the invertible matrix now what is invertible matrix invertible matrix uh, now before that i need to tell you exactly what the definition of inverse of a matrix is as we can perform four different operations one more operation or one more concept is there that is inverse of a matrix now what the definition says what is uh, the definition of inverse of the matrix is the definition is very very simple please listen carefully because it was not there in the syllabus of class 11th it is there in the syllabus of class 12th now means in class 12th we are going to discuss about it listen carefully what the definition is suppose a and b are two non empty matrices and ab is equals to ba is equals to i then we say that a b are inverse of each other i'll repeat the definition suppose a and b are two different non empty matrices and a b and b a are same and if their value is i that is identity matrix then a and b are called as inverse of each other in case of number i will explain you something suppose uh, i have one number 2 what is reciprocal of 2 it is 1 upon 2 what is reciprocal of 3 by 2 yes it is 2 by 3 what is the reciprocal of minus 1 upon 2 yes it is minus 2 and in case of numbers you can observe that multiplication of these two is kitna 1 2 2 will get cancelled the answer is 1 2 2 3 3 will get cancelled the answer is 1 if we multiply these two same here if we multiply these two the answer is kitna 1 so as per in case of number we, we have seen the number and its reciprocal their multiplication is kitna 1 in same way suppose i have two non empty matrices say a and b then if what the condition is if ab is equals to ba is equals to i if this condition is satisfied then we say that a and b are inverse of each other they are inverse of each other i can explain you the same definition with one simple example i have one simple example with the help of that you will easily understand what the definition of inverse of the matrix says i have two non empty matrices the very first one is suppose i have the matrix capital a whose elements are say 1 2 3 and 7 what is the order of this matrix a it is 2 cross 2 and one more matrix i have that is capital b whose elements are 7 minus 2 minus 3 and 1 even the order of b is kitna 2 cross 2 only now my statement is these two matrices are inverse of each other because they satisfies the given condition that is ab is equals to ba is equals to i okay let us check it out whether it is true or not we'll multiply a by b and then we'll multiply b by a let us perform the first operation that is let us find the matrix ab first a ko hum log b se multiply karenge what are the elements of a 1 2 3 7 let us multiply by b what are the elements of b 7 minus 2 minus 3 1 let us multiply these two matrices and check whether they are it means their value is capital i or not that is identity matrix or not 17 the 7 plus 2 into minus is that is minus 6 then 1 into minus 2 that is minus 2 plus 2 and the 2 then let us start the performing the multiplication with the second row 37 the 
21 plus 7 into minus 3 that is minus 21 and the last one is 3 into minus 6 that is minus 6 plus 7 ones are 7 yes of course at last we got identity matrix only you can observe there is 1 then it is 0 0 1 which is nothing but an identity matrix of order 2 cross 2 मतलब मैट्रिक्स ए को मैट्रिक्स बी से मल्टीप्लाई करने के बाद आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग ए बाय बी वी गॉट एन आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स वुज एलिमेंट्स आर 1 0 0 1 वुज ऑर्डर इज 2 क्रॉस 2 क्लियरली आल्सो वी कैन वेरीफाई बी ए इसके अलावा हम लोग बी ए भी फाइंड आउट कर सकते हैं इफ यू चेक बी ए द वैल्यू ऑफ बी ए इज आल्सो सेम and make sure that here you can observe that we can say that with the help of definition this a and b these two are inverse of each other ye dono matrix ek dusre ke kon hai inverse hai now the question are this can we find the inverse of any matrix the answer is no not at all a matrix should be invertible matrix means it's uh, determinant should be non zero if the determinant of the matrix is non zero then only we can find its inverse agar kisi bhi matrix ka inverse agar non zero hai tabhi hum log uska inverse find out kar sakte hai otherwise we cannot find the inverse of the matrix agar uska determinant zero aaya in that case we can directly say the inverse does not exist one more question arises in our mind that uh, is it that simple can we find the inverse of the matrix uh, directly yes but we need to go through three different method in textbook we are given three different method with the help of them we can find the inverse of method now in next lecture we will discuss about those three methods which are very helpful to find the inverse of the matrix what are these methods kaun se ye methods se are they time consuming kya inverse find out karne ke liye time lagta hai how to find the inverse of the matrix is it that simple as i have written on a board ye sab kuch ye sari baatein hum log dekhenge next lecture mein till then i would like to suggest you to go through the all topics all the examples which we have already studied in class 11 class 11th mein hum logon ne jitne sare matrix ke topics padhe hain jitne sare examples hum logon ne solve kiye i would like to suggest you to go through all those topics and examples because these topics will help you out to study the matrices of class 12th okay till then uh, bye bye see you in the next lecture